Hi everyone, Lewis here and I thought I'd bring you some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for alerts when I upload new content to the channel. Especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This just in today, Niantic has announced a couple of things that are, are in or coming to Pokemon Go. Today, as of this recording, Galarian Farfetch is now available in the wild to catch. And of course, what will be coming to Pokemon Go later this year, as confirmed in the Pokemon Presents presentation on YouTube, which I will have a link to in the description below, we are getting Mega Evolutions, which originally made their debut in Generation 6 in X and Y versions, along with the remakes of the Gen 3 games, Ruby and Sapphire, Omega, Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. And of course, this is just my opinion. Just take it with a grain of salt. This could also mean we could also be seeing Kalos Pokemon also coming to the game later this year. In other Pokemon news, also announced during Pokemon Presents for GoFest, the new mythical Pokemon we'll be getting from Gen 5 is Vincidity, which of course comes before the Unova starters because of the fact originally Vincidity was meant to be a Gen 4 Pokemon but was delayed and held over until Gen 5. Also announced during Pokemon Presents, a sequel to Pokemon Snap, which is new Pokemon Snap coming to the Nintendo Switch, which of course brings back memories of when I played the original Pokemon Snap as a teenager. And of course for kids, we are also getting a brand new game which is now available in the App Store or the Google Store called Pokemon Smile. This game was designed to help little children with brushing their teeth and then when they finish brushing their teeth they can catch the Pokemon that's in there. Also announced another mobile Pokemon game on the horizon called Pokemon Cafe which is a puzzle game which of course involves different Pokemon coming to your cafe as customers and even working for your cafe too. And plus the expansion for Sword and Shield versions just dropped on the Switch today. The first half of the DLC is now available. If you have a Nintendo Switch, go download it. It will cost you money seeing as this isn't free DLC. And of course, also at the end of the presentation, the president of the Pokemon Company announced about an upcoming project, which of course we will see in next week's video. One more thing. A brand new episode of Autism Talk will be coming later this week, as well as I will be covering Weedle Community Day and also hunting for shiny Weedle from home. And of course, stay tuned for other upcoming projects that I have in my list. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times, if you're going out, please be sure to wear a mask, carry hand sanitizer with you, and always, most importantly, practice social distancing.